Hello, remember me? I'm that man you saw yesterday who had a day off and then came down here to move a fridge freezer about. As usual, the weather is considerably less than lovely. Drizzle, drizzle all day. That's all we seem to get here. Anyway, thought maybe I should uh, tell you about the amazing things that are happening here at Project Nigel today. Now, believe it or not, I don't just come down here every day so I can drink tea and eat cold pasties and make videos about drinking tea and eating cold pasties. I actually have work to do as well. For example, this wiring loom just there. I've just pulled all that out of Project Jeff in the rain and I didn't complain about that. Like the veins and arteries of a fat dead gangster laying on the floor. There it resides, next to the fridge, cluttering up the floor much like everything else come to think of it and that's where i must once again face reality around the mess that is my work area i mean look at this suspension leg there alloy wheel there just tools scattered about the floor the uh, dead gangsters arteries steering rack wheels trolley jack and over here doors bits of carpet and other bits of carpet and a boot lid and I can barely get to my other tools over there because of it all. Uh, my workbench, all sorts of bits everywhere. Nothing's put away. The only thing that's in its right place is that cup of tea there. <sighs> Come on. Ah, goggles. I was looking everywhere for those a few weeks back. Ended up using a pair of reading glasses to do some grinding with. Look, it's terrible. All this all over the floor. I really shouldn't be expected to work under these conditions. All these trip hazards absolutely everywhere. It's a disgrace. I should be paying myself danger money. Anyway, good old Jeffy the dead gangster's ready to go and meet the scrappers. The Jeff Chronicles are drawing to an end. All I've got to do is just go and weigh it in. Obviously I've got loads of bits that I need to sort out as well. But that's really a different story, isn't it? But I can't do that until um, this chap I have coming along to buy a couple of... Uh, 25 bits turns up so I'm going to have to do some tidying up instead as boring as it may be that's exactly what's going to happen I think I need to make myself a theme tune to go along with this not like the 18 but something a bit more suitable well I was just moving this uh, R8 suspension leg and uh, just carrying it and it swung right into my shin that was quite painful with the weight of it uh, swinging right into my leg like that i didn't shout or swear though at least not so you can hear me it's still a miserable grisly horrible day but there's a bit of progress for you i have cleared a bit of space i have a walkway all the way down to the other end where the fridge lives. It is no longer dangerous. Or not properly dangerous anyway. And it is on the other side. However, this chap hasn't turned up yet. It's nearly an hour later than he said he was going to be. So if he doesn't turn up, I'll be quite disappointed. I'll wipe the smile off my own face, I reckon. Only because I need to get rid of a dead gangster off the back of my truck called Jeff. Otherwise I wouldn't mind too much. Still not here yet, but anyway, on the plus side. More progress, look at this. I've got a walkway back and a big space around the back of the car. When I brought this car in, I backed it up as far as it would go. So now, although I've still got a wall of cack everywhere, I can actually get around yes, the thing. He did turn up and he bought a Rover 25 front bumper and a set of headlamps. Quite late, I might add, but at least he turned up. And the bonus is it wasn't even his fault, so that makes it perfectly okay. Yay! Jeff is now buried. And for 65 pounds, I weighed the old girl in. The old girl called Jeff. That's a nice one, isn't it? So you can see why this I go to the effort of taking off as much as I possibly can because otherwise I'm not going to make any money out of it.
Now my next job's quite an easy one. All I've got to do is jumpstart Project John. Um, because the man who owns the car needs the mileage and I can't get it because the battery is completely goosed. So, we need to have one of my nice cars here. Adam to the rescue. Any car would do, any car with a battery that isn't completely goosed. As of last time, as of last time, I'm going to have to just leave the engine running again for quite a while to put a bit of power back into it and try and get some of, and try and get rid of some of this damp. You can hear it. I'll miss that sound, the sound of uh, of the thrummy dom right down the back of the workshop there. Probably why actually going to end up running out of petrol before long on my way home um, and yet again I finished the day without coming to any kind of conclusion that might be because I nipped into the garage um, just before and ended up chatting with some of the chaps there and it turns out that uh, one of them has been watching some of my videos and I'm not very happy about that I don't want people I know seeing my videos and then taking the mick out of me for them. I'm very, very upset about that. I'm not really. You can probably tell. <laughs> I love to drive home in my Rover. It's much better than your Audi. I love to drive home in my Rover. Yes, I do. You probably gathered that already. 